Welcome to the January New Moon Guided Meditation. I'm Crystal Heineman of The Psychic Soul. I'm so grateful to meditate with you under the new moon. Would you please find a comfortable position you like to meditate in? There's no right or wrong way. Just allow yourself to go into a safe, comfortable space. Settle in. And then once you're settled, once you feel safe and comfortable, would you please close your eyes and then take a deep cleansing breath. And on the exhale, allow yourself to start to fall deeper into meditation, relaxing into your body, falling deeper and deeper. And as you start to relax and settle in, just subtly become aware of your physical body that's relaxing and letting go. And then ever so gently becoming aware of your soul's awareness, the infinite aspect of you, your light, calling it home and allowing it to fall right into the center of your head. Nesting right behind your physical body's eyes. Allowing it to fall over you like a blanket. Feeling safer and more relaxed. And allowing yourself to fully integrate mind, body, soul. Becoming completely present in the first new moon of the year activation meditation. And then just by intention, start to allow yourself to ground into Mother Earth. Becoming aware that you're growing roots from your body down towards the middle of Mother Earth. As your grounding roots start to push their way through the soil and intuitively growing deep into Mother Earth, at least two miles down so your roots are rooted away from the intense and ever-shifting surface energy that happens here on Earth. And as you're grounding and growing, just allow yourself to connect with the powerful renewal energy that is being offered during the dark night of the new moon. Your roots are now anchoring into Mother Earth's core. And then give them a good energetic tug and allow this to activate your ground and start the gravitational pull on your energetic field, which is your physical body, your chakra system, and your aura. As your ground is now activated, you start to sense that your grounding roots are now divine gold, the highest frequency you can sense. And throughout this meditation, and as you breathe in, your roots are breathing in pure golden life and vitality. And on the exhale, you're letting go. And you can now start to release just with intention all the way down through your roots down into Mother Earth. Allowing her to transmute whatever is no longer serving you, whether you're aware of it or not. Just be in the energy of letting go. And please take another deep breath in. And on the exhale, allow yourself to fall even deeper into this new moon meditation. Just let it all go. 
ending all of your worries your concerns any fears or stress any anxiety just allow Mother Earth to transmute it for you As you're letting go, the January new moon is designed to remind us of how far we've come over the last year, of what an incredible journey it has been. So you might find yourself replaying experiences, maybe some memories within your mind's eye reminding you of your growth. This moon is also here to help us set intentions around our work and where we want to be financially. It's here to help us create miracles and opportunities during the powerful new beginning energy of the January new moon. Every new moon, Lady Light starts a new lunar cycle and it symbolizes new beginnings, renewal, rebirth, transformation. And you can utilize the powerful energy of a new moon to achieve new levels of manifestation, change, and growth. While reflecting and honoring what we've let go of during the last full moon, or even the last year, allowing you to move through the cycles without judgment, without guilt, and without shame. And with intention, Would you just simply set your body to complete release and start to let go of anything within your physical body that no longer serves you? Let it all go. Any physical pain you may be experiencing. Simply say hello to this pain and release it. And then check in with your emotional body. And if you're feeling any emotional pain or suffering, maybe a little angst, grief, whatever it may be, maybe a little sadness or depression, just simply say hello to it and then release it. And then saying hello to your mental body, the part of you that goes round and round and round within your mind. Would you simply stop the wheel of thoughts? Stop the mind chatter and let it go. And then allowing your subtle body to just release and let go too. Let it all go. Allowing yourself the opportunity to start fresh, to rebirth yourself. We're so blessed that we can do this every lunar cycle.
And then if you're carrying any expectations within yourself, or maybe expectations you set on others, would you please let that go? And then allowing yourself to simply just release and let go of anything that's no longer serving you. Setting your body to complete liquid and release. Making room for higher frequencies and experiences to come into your life. During the January new moon, we may feel more quietly competitive and more strategic than usual. And we all hold our competition within our third chakra, our solar plexus. So ensuring that you move through the new moon energies with a more heart-based, slow and steady pace with planting your seeds of intentions versus setting your plans in motion with your ego Let's do a little chakra balancing. So as you lay in meditation and your body is relaxed, would you please become aware of your third chakra, your solar plexus chakra? It's located around your mid-tummy area and it's spinning and it's a beautiful aspect of you. If you can think of yourself as your own personal universe, your own personal library, and within a library, there's different sections and categories. Each one of your chakras is your own personal section or category of the library that makes up you. And the category of your solar plexus chakra is where your ego is housed. It's also home to your personal power, your boundary setting, control that others have on you or you on others. competition. Your career is housed here because we compete for jobs. It's a very earth plane competition, ego-based energy. And this is part of what makes us human. So would you please start to envision a sturdy, thick tree root growing down towards the foundation that's supporting you from your third chakra. Growing into Mother Earth. Plugging into her core. And then start to ground out your third chakra. Letting go of any ego-based competition any envy, control. Letting go of all the times you gave your personal power away. Or times when people overstepped your boundaries. Letting it all release from your solar plexus. Sometimes our lack of self-worth can be sitting in here. So would you please let that aspect of you go too, whether you're aware of it or not.
as you're releasing the energy that no longer serves you from your third chakra. Starting to become aware that it is now becoming brighter, brighter, more vibrant, spinning so beautifully, calibrating itself. shining like a beautiful ray of sunshine and the glow of your solar plexus chakra now lights your path and warms your body with the glow of self-confidence. Of your personal power. You feel confident in your healthy boundary setting. and becoming aware that your energy is now standing so tall and beautifully balanced, feeling so confident within yourself, where you now feel like you can do anything, that you have the courage to accomplish everything you want to achieve. Will you now become aware that the new moon herself is now within your solar plexus and is now ready to take your hand and guide you to step up into your heart center. As you ascend from your solar plexus with the help of the new moon and elevate yourself to nest right within your heart chakra around your chest area. Within your heart space, this is where your authenticity lies. Your truest self. The pace of slow and steady Your heart is the divine place where past, present, and future experiences and even stress or anxiety can no longer harm you or control you. When you're operating within your heart chakra, you can truly be who you are, mind, body, soul. Instead of attempting to mold yourself into what others expect from you, stepping within your heart center can bring bouts of pure bliss. It's your truest form of personal power at the highest level. And now that you are here within your heart, start to sense what that feels like for you. And allow yourself to take some time and set some new moon intentions for what you're wanting to cultivate within yourself and especially what you want your financial foundation to look like. And remember to shoot for the stars with your intentions, even if it feels in this very moment unobtainable. We create by the speed of thought Your intentions matter, so go for gold. And when you set your intentions within your heart center, the universe responds quickly.
allowing, activating, cultivating, and just being within your creations. As you can now sense what you're wanting to create over this new moon and your thoughts are out there in the universe for them to be manifested, created, cultivated. Start to become aware that the new moon is now filled with so much love, appreciation for you as you take this magnificent leap into your heart. And she understands that you may feel vulnerable here, and that's okay. Just allow yourself to feel it. She's now holding a beautiful, shimmering crescent moon over your entire body. And this crescent moon acts as a vessel to replenish you, to activate you. You've done amazing work in activating under the new moon and setting your intentions. So now just allow yourself to be healed and replenished. She's filling your crescent moon with energies that support your heart-based financial dreams. Your authenticity. Your confidence in your most beneficial choices in life. Your personal power. And your growth as a human, but also as a soul. You're so powerful. And you are so amazing to be on this journey as a human. Lady Light is also sprinkling in some magic into your moon. And some divine healing tonics just for you to support this new moon activation for the first time this year. And when you're ready, all you have to do is be in the energy of receiving. Your new moon is now tipping over you, pouring into you, filling you in, dripping into you the highest frequency of energies. Encompassing your entire being. Your entire body is filling in, spilling into your chakra system, and then spilling out into your aura. And as you pull your awareness to see all of you, you are shimmering gold the highest frequency a being can be. Your physical body is strong and healthy. Your
your chakras are spinning and balanced. Your aura is so bright and so clear. You're operating with a healthy, balanced ego. A healthy, balanced heart. You are a sovereign being whose needs are completely and divinely met. And as these energies are filling you in, you're being activated to feel safe to operate from your heart. And any time you need a full body healing, you may come back to the sacred meditation space to heal, not only just under the new moon. And as you're soaking all of these high frequencies in, Congratulations. You are all powerful and a direct reflection of pure divine consciousness. And then just take a moment and sense what that feels like for you within this vibration. To be a divine sovereign being, making your best choices for you, not for anyone else, and living within your heart center, and just allow. And then would you please slowly start to pull your awareness back to the center of your head. Back to your body. Starting to understand that this healing is now over. Although you'll continue to feel the medicinal energies. You can just slowly start to maybe stretch a little bit, maybe wiggle. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes, come out of meditation. Happy first new moon of the year. I'm Crystal Heinemann of The Psychic Soul. If you liked that meditation, would you please subscribe, like, and comment, or share whatever your heart desires? And you can visit the links below for any psychic, metaphysical classes, private sessions with me, and any merchandise. I really appreciate you, and I'm very grateful. Until the full moon. Be well, my way shower tribe. Keep holding the light out there for everyone. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude. Infinite love and gratitude.